everyone, it's Blakely with Everyday Gourmet. So if you watch my videos, you know that I love a good soup recipe. They're easy, they're hearty, they're filling, they're amazing. And today is no different. I asked my friend Michelle, who has an amazing recipe for a lentil soup, to share her recipe. So I'm gonna be doing a Turkish lentil soup and it's so good, easy, like extremely easy, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right, so in my pot here, I'm going to do one large onion that I'm dicing. Get some good olive oil in here. You wanna make sure you use good quality olive oil because you want that, that flavor in there. Okay, just dicing up our onion really quick here. So I'm gonna do, I have three small carrots, but I basically want um, like one large carrot. So I only have small ones here. Okay, just like this. Okay, so we have one of that right here. And then I'm just gonna show you what I like to do with the carrots. So the larger parts, I cut off. I cut them right in half like that. Right, so we're gonna keep cutting, and then I'm also gonna do two cloves of garlic in there. All right, so that is sauteed up beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic in here. I'm gonna do two cloves of garlic right in here. Okay. We're gonna stir this until fragrant. So good already. All right, then I'm gonna do some tomato paste, like one heaping tablespoon tomato paste in there. So what you want to do with tomato paste is it has that kind of raw flavor of the tomato paste that you want to cook out. So what you want to do, and I do this with all my sauces, you put it in here, kind of coat those vegetables, and let it cook for like a minute or two. Right, so that is cooked nicely. So in here, I have one teaspoon of cumin, a half teaspoon of dried mint, half teaspoon of fresh thyme, and a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Put all those beautiful spices in there. Let this cook for a minute, let those spices bloom nicely. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so that smells amazing. So I'm gonna do eight cups of vegetable broth in here. You wanna make sure it's good quality, always. And then I'm also gonna do one cup of these red lentils. So what you wanna do with the red lentils, when you get them, kinda of sort through, make sure there's no like sticks or little twigs or anything in there. And you want to rinse these and drain them about three, four times. All right, gonna put those right in here. So we're gonna let this come up to a boil and we're gonna reduce it. How easy is that? Just gotta let it cook now, yum. All right, so I just added just some salt and pepper it's come up to a boil, so I'm gonna kind of cover it like this and turn it down and let it simmer. And I don't want it to, to overflow here, so I only have this on halfway. So I'm gonna let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, just until those lentils are cooked through and the carrots are cooked through, and that is it, so easy. So our soup is like basically done. So in here, I'm gonna make some pepper oil here that if we're gonna swirl on the top, on top of this beautiful soup that's basically done. So in here, about three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna add about one and a half teaspoons of some regular paprika. And also about a quarter of a teaspoon of some red pepper flakes here. Give it a little spice. This is great because you serve it with the soup. 
and you can add as much or as little of this as you like, some dried mint, and definitely some squeeze of lemon. So we're gonna let this cook until you see the paprika starts to, a little bit more. As soon as you see it start to like bubble, it's done. You don't wanna cook it, really. You just want it to just marry together. That is done. All right, I'm gonna turn this off, and it's time to serve. I'm just gonna do a nice big bowl of the of the soup, a little bit of chili oil swirled on top, maybe some mint, and definitely some fresh lemon juice. All right. I am obsessed with the soup. It's so good. It's very light, just to do with big squeeze of lemon on there, a little bit of that oil, and you have the best delicious soup. So there you have my Turkish lentil soup. I hope you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet with Blakely for delicious recipes and videos.